Uh, New York Islander uh, owner uh, Charles Wang uh, sells team to former Washington Capitol co-owner uh, Sean Ledesky and London-based investor Scott uh, Malkin. Did you read about that? Yeah, it's on the news today. Basically, Charles okay, Wang, computer it, guy. It. But like, here's a guy, Mr. Wang, Mr. W and they wrote that song about him, Wang, Wang Chung Ch Tonight. <laughs> What does that mean, though, Wang Chung tonight? Steve, do you know what that song means? I'm just, I've heard it a, a thousand times. I don't times. know what it means, but I, I think I've danced to it uh, in my youth. I think it's a great 80s song. I want to Wang remember, Chung I tonight. I the 80s music, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> but here's a guy who's done some of the craziest things in the NHL. Bizarre. Mm -hmm. Like, bizarre. The Jerry Springer of the NHL. Crazy man. Crazy man, right? Mm -hmm. Made money uh, in the uh, early uh, 80s on, in computers. Mm -hmm. Wang computers. Mm-hmm. And they then they then they uh, they, they wang chung. His name, they wang chung. Wang chung and, yeah. and then many men referred to their wang as a wang. Anyways, so I wonder if he gets a royalty for that. But <laughs> <laughs> so he sells the team. Has he had enough uh, of uh, himself? I'm surprised he's done he, some crazy things. I'm surprised he's lasted this long. You know how he's he's probably got a hole in his pocket right down to his feet. This it's, guy lost it's that. full today. He it's lost today. a ton of money. But that's full today. Whatever he lost, I'll bet you a dinner at Mama D's that he got it all back. What? How much did he sell the franchise for and how much did he pay for it? Guys, can you get the number? Because there's no way this guy got his full money I back. Say that Absolutely money not. I say that. Did you think he ran out of money, Perry? I didn't say, I didn't say he ran I'm out of money. No, he didn't run. No. So I'm why saying, did he sell the team? Because he finally got smart and decided to cut his losses in some what idiot. Do you think? What do you think, uh, Stevie? Stevie K, do you think he got smart and said, you know... Hey, I've not heard in the, the modern era of NHL ownership that any owner... Uh, who had the team as long as he did, didn't increase their profit margin after a sale. That's what I, that was that's, my point. Well, that's and very I, interesting. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's why they do it. It's, it's, uh, it's, um, you lose money while you're running the asset, but it's an appreciating asset. And when you sell it, it, it goes for big money. And, and I'm sure that, I, 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 what's, uh, what's the average price uh, for a franchise in the NHL? $400 million, $300 million? Give me dollars? somewhere in there, yeah. It's okay. about 170 to 2, 170 to 2. Uh, but it's skewed because you got teams like the Leafs pushing up the average. Um, okay, so uh, let's 170 say might be a little bit low, but when you look at the lower denominator team, uh, denomination of the teams and you look at the Forbes list, um, there's the median average, and then there is what is skewed by the Leafs, Montreal, and the Rangers, and everything the else. So it's almost two different numbers. Get rid of that bomb. Now, I'd be surprised if we're into the fours, to use that quote, but where Charles Wang got in on it and where he left the, the Islanders, I'd be shocked if he didn't make at least conservatively $10 million. Uh, I'm, I'm telling you, what did he pay for that franchise? I, I, I remember somewhere, and you guys can double check because you can't bullshit anymore with Google. I, I think he paid like in the neighborhood of 20 million bucks for that franchise, 30 million bucks for that franchise, no more than that. Look, okay, you know, check out what he did, how many years he had the franchise multiplied by lost, anywhere. He never from... lost the money personally, the company did, the corporation. Okay. I'm sure he's going to make some, he's going to get 100% of his investment back. And, and uh, like, I'm just going to say, I, I would imagine that team would have lost anywhere from 10 to 20 million dollars annually. That team was not the team so it was in, in the 80s, so not by any chance. So, so th let's go your way. Let's mm -hmm. say that team lost 170 million bucks. Mm -hmm. He sells a franchise for 200 million. He got back all his losses and he makes a $30 million uh, uh, VIG. Am I right, Steve? Not too bad. That's not too bad, guys. It's not a bad VIG. I, could you live on $30 million? <laughs> I could live on a million bucks. Okay. You well, know, I think it's great. If that's if... How much did he pay for it, uh, producers? Uh, let's be fast here. Get off the porn sites. And, uh, and 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 uh, what did he sell it for? What's the rumor that he saw? If the NHL discloses the selling price, do, do they not? No, it's they private. Don't? It's private. I always thought they disclosed it. Okay, well, I'm sure. I, I think Steve's uh, bang on. I think it's a couple hundred million bucks for a franchise. Um, uh, even the worst franchise, I, I, they, that's the number they were throwing around. The only the thing Coy positive Phoenix about Phoenix Coyote, they were throwing around a couple hundred million bucks when mm -hmm. uh, the. the the CEO of BlackBerry was uh, saying he was going to buy Bosley, it. Bosley, yep. Mm -hmm. The only thing good about, about this is that the franchise is moving into Brooklyn. They're going to be in a new arena, the Barclays Arena, going away from where That's a great arena. The Nassau County it, Coliseum. Is, uh, so it, if there's uh, any... It, am I correct in saying that uh, the great Mark Messier had something to do with the Brooklyn uh, Arena? 
That's uh, news to me. I, I, I thought he had something to do with that. It's, no, a, it's I, a great complex, the Brooklyn Arena. That's if there's value to that franchise, it's because they're moving into okay. the arena. Okay, what is it? He paid 130 million, and we don't know how much he sold it for, but the value is over 200 million. Okay, he paid 130 15 years ago. Are you sure? Are you Forbes. sure? I'm pulling a Joe Pesci. Forbes magazine. Forbes magazine says he paid 130 million dollars, Steve, 15 years ago. And sold it for 200 million. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. When did he buy it? What year, what year did he buy it? 2000. Okay, so multiply that 15 years at about anywhere from 10 150 to, million bucks. 10 to 20 million bucks. Say say say, say he lost 150 million bucks, so he wrote it off. Okay, whatever. Uh, you know, he's he's done. So so these guys are going to do a, a good job. Uh, good good for them.